hey guys you're welcome back to my channel and if you're joining for the first time my name is Tomi and if you're yet to subscribe please do subscribe to my channel thank you yes so as most of those applicants I know that by now we started getting emails responses and you know for some people love letters I mean if you've gotten the love letter yeah um, life continues I mean we move and if you've gotten a congratulatory email I'm so 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 happy for you I mean this is a very big win congratulations to you okay so what next what next after this like what do you need to do yeah so we usually have like different categories for some programs um, they have different selection round example my program have like two selection rounds so the first selection round is the general one which carries the largest mark of the whole evaluation and then there is the second part the second evaluation where you have to um, do an interview and some other programs you have to do like live interview why some other people you don't you're not required to do anything else i mean that's it for you for those people you are at the final bus stop and i'm so happy for you congratulations to you once again yeah so for those that are required to do some sort of interview yeah i decided to put some things together for you to help you so first for the program there was a second round evaluation where we had to do an interview so for us it was um, a pre-recorded interview so we were sent the interview questions and then you have to record your answers and send it on a particular deadline once once you get the interview questions if if your your interview is like um, a pre-recorded one once you get the interview question i mean look at the question very well yeah try to prepare a script and yeah prepare for what to say <laughs> you know it's even better because it's pre-recorded so you have time to prepare you know put some thoughts into it and be intentional yeah and try to be very specific you know the, the questions are going to be centered around the program they want to know your knowledge of the program they want to know um, more about you your aspirations your goals yeah but for my program it was like more program specific questions so you have to at this point you have to do some a bit more in-depth research about the program about the focus of the program so that was basically what the questions from my program was centered around yes yeah, so i did some research on on the questions i prepared my scripts i, I first before recording the video i sent my scripts to a friend that was in a similar program and he reviewed the scripts for me so i he corrected some things as well then he sent me some materials to also use in preparing my scripts so after doing that i recorded the video oh boy <laughs> I recorded the video like oh no 20 times because I at some point I felt oh no the the the, the orientation is not good enough the lighting is not good enough um, I was not articulate enough at some point my voice was shaky and you know you don't want your voice to be shaky I mean you have all the time if it is a pre-recorded interview so you have to give it your best like you have to give it your best so i had to record over and over and over and over again i mean it doesn't matter just record over and over again if you can you can upload it to google drive and have someone look at it for you so if they tell you that your voice is shaking in one video i mean you can you can um keep that and record another one don't get tired of recording it can get tiring you might want to make a one minute video and <laughs> and you do it for close to one hour i'm not even joking for a one minute video you can take up to 30 minutes to prepare a one minute video yeah so you have to put in some some thoughtfulness and preparation into it and for those that will be having um live interview so for your program i you know for different programs they vary but basically most of the interview they want to get to know you better they want to see your confidence level they want to see yeah how well do you know about the program and yeah and how articulate you are so it's very important that you do your own work very well. i know you must have done a lot of research about the program of course no doubt yeah but you might want to um, look into some some things that are more specific yeah so again i'll use my program for example if we were to have a live interview i know that um the interview might have questions around sustainability in ICT and sustainability by ICT. So you might want to read about important concepts that relate to your program. And also, yeah, they want to get to know you as a person. They want to know about your goals and how your goals fit into the program. I know you'll be like, oh yeah, I've written all of that into my SOP. Why do they want to meet me again? 
yeah it's just the same thing when you apply for a job and you submit your cv they still want to like meet you in person to ask you technical questions to meet you to see your confidence level and all of that so yeah so for for some other programs the interview part is, is an important part of the process your confidence level is usually very important yeah one important tip i would love to share here is if if you are not the first quote i mean if there have been other sets before you try to reach out to some of them to know the kind of questions they asked for their programs but usually generally those are the kind of questions that they usually ask but you might want to take a step further by you know doing further research by asking someone that is already in your program to know what kind of questions they asked in their sets for the interview and then having done that you can't just even even if it is a live interview just like have a rough script of um, potential questions that they can ask and yeah potential answers that you can likely answers that you can give to the questions so so you don't blab and you know be straight to the point so another important point is um take note of the time zone take note of the time zone i know for um my friends in india in pakistan you have very different time zone so you don't want to miss your interview because of time zone carelessness so please um be mindful of the time zone like check it be double sure be triple sure i mean be all sure like just be very sure of the time zone and make sure that you yeah you check the correct time just just make sure that you are there on time like don't be late another important tip that is related to the first one is like know your sop very well know what you've written in your cv and your sop they most likely have those in front of them while they're asking you the questions so you don't want to say something that is contradicting to what you already have in there so it's 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 going to be <laughs> it's going to be uh, it's going to be really bad if if you have to lie or say something that is not so try to study again i know you wrote your sop yourself i know you prepared your cv yourself but you might want to go over it again to you know yeah just to be sure of the things you have in there to make sure that what you're saying correlates with what you've put down or what you've sent to them earlier and the next thing is try to be very calm be very calm during the interview be articulate speak slowly like my professor would say that yeah when you're presenting you don't you don't just present yeah you have to carry your audience along they're probably not english speaking people and um, and some even if they are english speaking you know, our intonation is different so you might want to speak like calmly and you, you might want to you know articulate your speech in such a way that anybody can understand you so try to be calm and, artic and articulate if you need to take a lot of water before the interview please do and anything to make you calm just try to be calm i mean get good rest before the interview yeah go, get get a, get a very good rest the day before find a convenient environment just make sure that you're in an environment that can yeah help you keep you relaxed and in a good mood you know just relax and yeah so so that you know actually most of most of your interviewers are going to be like your program coordinators or some of your professors and most times they are friendly people and they are human so and they are always very understanding so so there's no need to be uptight really just relax like take a deep breath they are usually friendly and the interview environment is really kind of friendly yeah so it's it's usually friendly and yeah interactive so it's not like they are coming to come and shoot you down or no they are not your enemies yeah so try to relax and interact and one last thing that i would love to say is never lie oh, oh, oh. How, how, how how good how better can i say this i mean never never tell a lie like don't lie don't lie it is it is a killer it is a no no it is a no no i mean it's good to talk about your achievements it's good to talk about what you can do it's good to talk about what you know but don't lie don't say what you cannot do because yeah they, they are versatile people you wouldn't know those in the interview room you might think they don't really have a knowledge about what you're saying but you'd be surprised that <laughs> it's even their research area and then and you're blabbing rubbish like you're blabbing things that are not real so don't give false statistics don't lie don't say what you cannot do don't don't try to don't try to blow your skills out of proportion i mean just keep it simple yes talk about your skills with confidence talk about what you can do with confidence talk about your goals with confidence yeah and um 
and answer the questions show that you you have studied well about the program show that you've done your assignments but don't lie don't exaggerate since it is a big big turn off in fact anywhere in any interview even if it's a job interview don't lie so try to keep it as real as you can okay i hope you find some of these tips helpful in your interview and i wish you um the very best in this final stage i i really hope you get this like it's it's going to be an exciting opportunity for you so i really really pray and hope with you that you're gonna get this yeah so till then see you bye